Hey, what's up? So today we have a special one. I will be building the famous 2x2 convection stove. Uh, a lot of people have given this thing a lot of attention and uh, with good cause. Uh, this thing is phenomenal at heating my shop and I want to do a YouTube step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I build these. So if you'd like to follow along, I have uh, this whole stove laid out in a CAD design. Uh, 12 pages total, step-by-step -step guide, Amazon links, everything that you'd need to build this exact stove. Now, if you'd like to buy that, I'm selling those CAD designs for 29 bucks, and I will leave a link down below on how you can get a hold of them. So today's goal is simple. If you bought the CAD designs, I want to give you a step-by-step -step simple guide on exactly how to build it. Now, I'm assuming you know how to weld. I'm assuming you know how to fab stuff up. But there's ways to build this to make it as easy, as simple, and as fast as possible. And if you haven't bought the CAD designs, uh, enjoy the show. I'm, I hope to entertain you along the way. I, I'd like to take you along to the build, kind of show you how I uh, build things, how I fab stuff up. Um, I hope you get something out of this video. So let's get into it. So in the beginning, I like to have a couple of pieces cut, good to go. It's going to make assembly a lot less complicated down the line. Uh, so if you look at page two, you'll see I have all these components cut up. Item one, two, three, and four. Uh, that's all good to go. These are the convection tubes. I've also got all the components to the door plate cut up, uh, my two by one tubing and my 12 by 12 uh, quarter inch plate. So I've got my flute pipe cut. Uh, I've cut it in half at an angle. I tacked it up. It's good to go, it just needs to be welded. Uh, you can find the details on this on page four of 12. And I've also went ahead and I've cut up my inline blowing tube. Um, I went ahead and cut this all up in advance. Just again, it's gonna make assembly a lot less complicated. Uh, you can find the details of this inline blowing tube on page five of 12. So this is when the fun begins. This sheet that I've placed all my components on is not my welding table. It is the outside body of the stove, the shell. Uh, so if you look at page six and seven, you'll see all the dimensions. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to map it out to spec and then uh, take it from that point. So I like to divide this whole thing into two foot sections. Uh, the stove is two foot by two foot. That is the, the key dimension in this, in this whole build. So let's, let's do that now. Now, usually, usually I've noticed that these sheets don't come as a flat eight foot long section. Usually they give you a little bit to play with. In this case, is no, no exception. I'm at eight and a half feet. So again, if I want this divided equally, I'm gonna aim at like, I don't know, two foot and an eighth uh, on each one of these lines. Now that I've got the stove divided into equal sections, uh, I'm just gonna begin from the bottom and just move my way up. See, like, this step alone, I think is valued at 29 bucks. Uh, just the amount of time that it takes to know exactly how to map this thing out, to fold it up into a nice, uh, nice, easy box. Uh, this took a, a, a substantial amount of my time, not only to uh, make the CAD files, but also just to uh, think of a way to make this out of one sheet of, of steel. So now that we've gotten to the, uh, the back of the stove, I've mapped out almost this whole thing. Uh, I like to use the pipes that I'm gonna be using in this section as a template.
I went ahead and mapped it out and I put lines into all the spots that I will be cutting out. Now I'll save these because I'll need them down the line, but the stove mapped out should look something like this. Now this would be a phenomenal time to double check any dimensions because if you mess up these cuts, uh, it's going to be an expensive mistake. I've mapped out this whole piece of steel. I've double checked my dimensions. They all look phenomenal as always. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plasma cut the excess off of the main body of the stove. So this uh, section uh, kind of takes a while and if you have a CNC plasma table, uh, it, would, it would come in handy about now. Uh, I don't uh, because we just don't got it like that, not yet. But uh, I still have the ability to cut it out by hand um, I'm going to use a guide stop to kind of get as close to dead on as I can. Any, any waviness is just gaps you'll have to fill down the line. So it's, it's, it's a huge component to having a nice, smooth, even cut. Take the time, set up the backstops. Uh, it's just going to make life a lot less difficult down the line when you go to weld this thing up. Okay, you want it to be a nice, tight fit up. You don't want to be welding a bunch of gaps. That's excess time, excess heat you put into the stove. Quality begins at the beginning and is maintained. And professionals have standards. So I've got the main body of the stove cut out. I've labeled all these spots that we will cut and fold as detail A1. So I've got A1, 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 A1. So I'm just about to seal this thing up. I've got the top tacked up. I'm just about to seal up the bottom, but uh, what I want to do now is I want to put in the uh, ash pipe and the inline blowing fan. Uh, you can wait until the end to do this, but it's going to limit the amount of weld you can actually get on this pipe. So it's the simplest way to do it is just to do it now. Uh, at this point, uh, the ash pipe should just be the plain old two inch schedule 10 pipe. Uh, nothing has been done to it yet. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the back angle in. Uh, I'll put it into position how I want it, and then I'll make the, uh, the half cut. You can find the details to this on page 8 of 12. So I'm going to begin with the inline blowing tube. And I position the vents so it's pointing up into the side walls of the stove. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to weld the bottom. Uh, again, once I seal this thing up, I'm not going to have any access to it, so I want to do it now. Now I'm going to put in the uh, ash cleanout tube. I'm going to position that so that back cut that we made is angled down to me. And the face of the two inch pipe is positioned on the face of the outside shell. So now that I've got this welded in on the back side, I'm just going to fold down these flaps.
If you've been following along, the stove should look something like this. We've got the main body cut and folded into a box. We've got the ash cleanout system pipe, the two inch schedule 10, we've got that put in, as well as the inline blowing bin. Uh, we've got it all tacked up, good to go. So this leaves us at page nine of 12, putting on the convection tubes. And in the next video, uh, we'll touch on this. I'll show you how to put these on because it's easy to mess it up. So if you got anything out of this video, leave your boy a like, okay? Leave a comment too. What would you change about the stove design? Believe me, this stove has a lot of potential to innovate off of my initial concept. But with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.